Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we will be solving equations that require simplifying before solving. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on solving equations and simplifying expressions, they'll be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before you watch this one. So, when we see equations like the one here, the best way to solve them is to start off by using the distributive property. Here we need to distribute the 7 to x and to negative 1, and we need to distribute the 5 to x and to positive 1. So 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, plus 2x equals 12, plus 5 times x, or 5x, plus 5 times 1, or 5. Now we need to simplify by combining like terms. So we have 7x and 2x here. So that's 9x minus 7 equals 12 plus 5, or 17, plus 5x. Now we can subtract 5x from both sides. to get 4x minus 7 on the left hand side and 17 on the right hand side. We can add 7 to both sides to get 4x equals 17 plus 7 or 24. Last but not least we can divide by 4 and get x equals 6. And that's our final answer. Now here's a quick tip. It's always best to check your answer by plugging in your solution back into the original equation. This way the chance of making a mistake is eliminated. So we can plug the 6 back into the original equation for all the x values. We'll get 7 times 6 minus 1 plus 2 times 6 equals 12 plus 5 times 6 plus 1. Now we can solve each side to see if each side equal the same value. So 7 times 6 minus 1, or 7 times 5, is 35, plus 2 times 6 equals 12, equals 12 plus 5 times 6 plus 1, or 5 times 7, which is 35. 35 plus 12 is 47, equals 12 plus 35, or 47. And we got the right solution. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.